Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing a new style on my client who um, got, previously got an alopecia service. Uh, how many weeks are going up? Mm, it's, a month. it's been a month and it's still there. That's good. All right, so we are actually going to get her prepared for a new style. Um, you guys will get to see how I actually remove this style and go through the process with us where we're going to be giving her some feathered bangs today um this was kind of more of a mohawk slash mullet looking style from the last time we're also going to relax her sides and her back clean that up so you guys get to see the entire process okay so we started off by applying the relaxer to the nape of her neck um, and around the sides and the back i like to apply my relaxer if relaxer is needed for my clients who are getting alopecia weaving services. Now, we did not remove the previous install just yet. Reason being is I don't wanna create any added um, aggravation to her scalp or just create any environment where the relaxer won't be able to process for the amount of time that it should. So rather than rinsing her out ahead of time, it's best to go ahead and do any form of chemical processing first and then rinse everything all at one time. So the good thing about my alopecia weaving services is that I put on multiple layers of protection and they can easily be removed by literally just adding water. Now with her, she has had this for almost a month. So what I'm doing is just using warm water, rinsing the relaxer, and then also rinsing the actual um, unit or extension service that we applied. And basically all you're doing is using water, 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 and more water. I don't add any shampoo at this phase of the process because this is really the simple part. Um, all we have to do is rinse the tracks or rinse the area where the installation was done. And that area basically gets nice and slimy. It begins to slide off. There may be a couple pieces that we have to actually remove with our hand, but nothing damaging to her hair or her scalp, which is also the reason why I love providing these services to my alopecia clients because they get to feel like themselves, they get to um, feel beautiful, they get to get their confidence back and still have an amazing style all at the same time. So once I removed the installation of the alopecia weave, I applied a little bit of our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment to the crown area, and then I go ahead and neutralize the remainder of her hair where we had the relaxer. And then I also use that same shampoo in the crown, just because I'm already shampooing the client and I use the scalp agitator in the crown area where there was no relaxer to help soothe any itch. Remember, this install has been on for about three weeks to a month. So that area, of course, is nice and itchy. They want to get it nicely scratched. And then, of course, I use that to add circulation and allow that, that soothing feeling and just to clean the area where the um, alopecia service or the weaving service or the extensions were placed. At this point, I also comb out any residual adhesive um, that might have rinsed into the hair, which is, this part is really minimal, you guys. And of course, just because she does have a little bit of shedding, that doesn't mean that something is wrong. You are still supposed to shed, no matter if you have alopecia or not. We're still gonna shed those natural hairs on a regular basis. And remember, her hair has been covered up for three to four weeks. So what I do is I just go ahead and comb through, get any hair that needed to shed off or that already shedded and then rinse her hair really, really well. Now at this point, because I did do a chemical service and it does require neutralizing, I do ensure that I do a neutralizing treatment again or neutralizing shampoo, which is also known as normalizing shampoo, depending on the brand that I'm using for the relaxer. And then I use the, I do the second shampoo and I mix that with another Elite Hair Care shampoo. Reason being is I do not like the smell of normalizer. It leaves this chemical smell that is just not to my liking. So I always do <laughs> add a little bit of Elite shampoo. In this case, I use a little bit of the hair repair and restore shampoo, mix the two together, and then I go ahead and shampoo her hair a second time, including the crown area, regardless of there not being any form of relaxer in that area. Now, this is definitely the time to give yourself a thorough shampoo or for your stylist to give yourself a thorough shampoo because typically my alopecia clients, when they get their service or previous service removed, we actually go through and do the same service again, um, depending on whatever style we're going for um, for this particular day. Also, 
If we're going to do any form of color after the shampoo service, this is when we would apply the color to her hair, allow it to process. Typically, if I'm covering up the crown, I don't apply color to the crown because it's not necessarily a, a thing. It's not needed. It's being covered up. But if I am applying any hair to the crown or allowing any hair to be exposed, I do add color to that area. So for her conditioner, I'm using a little bit of the Repair Me Illuminating Mask. And I'm also going to apply some Super Growth Serum to her scalp. Now, I want you guys to actually see something. This is a brand new tool that we'll be releasing in the fall. Um, you guys haven't really heard anything of it, so now you get a chance to preview it. And I'm going to go ahead and apply her conditioning mask first. And then you guys will see the little surprise that I have coming in the fall. Yeah, I'm going to get it, you guys. The suspense, the suspense. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> So this is the Elite Hair Stimulator. So this is a stimulation roller. It has 0.3 um, gritting on it. This allows you to basically roller it over the areas where you have hair loss or you're experiencing hair loss or thinning. Right after you apply your super growth serum or your nephrotidy serum or your hair repair serum. And this allows the scalp to absorb the product a lot better. It also helps to stimulate growth and blood circulation in that area. It's non-invasive. It's not something that hurts. Um, I basically just let my client feel it on her arm just so she could understand that it's not something that is there to hurt. It is merely to help. So yes, the hair stimulator is coming, you guys. It will be available this fall, it is already in production. I am super excited for this tool because so many of you are experiencing alopecia issues, balding, thinning, hairline issues, so much. And this is going to help jumpstart the growth in those areas and also help you to absorb the products a lot better. So, of course, you guys know it's time for the maintenance of her haircut. So I went ahead and did that first. And then I separated the area in the crown where I was going to be applying the protectant. And then, of course, now is the time where I do all of my protection work before I mold her. And then I mold her and put her under the dryer so everything gets to dry all together rather than us waiting piece by piece. So now that she's out from under the dryer, I'm applying my tracks to the area that we did the two layers. Actually, it's three layers of protection. And then the tracks themselves are going to go on. So we're doing like a feathered bang look. This is the look that you guys kind of see me do a lot. Most of my clients, they seem to love this style. So I seem to do this style a lot more <laughs> than anything else. But I love doing these kinds of styles because I just feel like it gives you your spunk. It gives you edginess. It gives you your oomph, right? And it makes you look nice and youthful. So after we apply the extensions, I go ahead and do the blending along with my clippers, my shears, um, now is basically when we take care of all of the cutting of the hair, basically blending it with her hair, which we only left a small amount of her hair out. Um, my client, she prefers to have her entire crown covered. She doesn't really want a lot of her hair out. And she's actually my edgy client. She likes mohawks and stuff like that. So I really love doing her hair because she allows me to do other things, like be really creative and playful with her styles. So what I'm doing now is using our 3 tenths of an inch H2 Pro Black Diamond Flat Iron. This is a ceramic flat iron. You guys know me for using this for my shortcuts, edges, or hairline, that kind of thing. So for the shorter areas, really she doesn't have a lot of work to do at home. Once I curl her, most of my clients will pin curl the top or the crown, and then they'll just tie their scarf around the sides and the back. Now for the crown area, I'm using our Elite Anniversary Titanium Iron. This iron allows me to smooth the hair and curl all at the same time, you guys. I actually really love this iron. I do not work hard with any of the irons that we have. And I always tell you guys, the tools you use are going to really depict your finish. So I'm all for, you know, getting something that's cost effective in regards to pricing, those little $9.99 irons that you see at the store. But I'm also all for not having to work 10 times as hard. I'm also all for not having to put six, seven, and eight, nine presses or passes on my hair, and I can do one to two passes and achieve my look with this iron. It's nice and smooth. I can temper it, and the good thing is it has an automatic shut off where it shuts off after a couple minutes of being left unattended or unused. All right, so we did put a couple streaks of color in her hair, so she brought a couple of bomb burgundy pieces. 
Um, she loves the burgundy. So we put some in between just to kind of give her a little more edginess as well. This is also something that I enjoy doing for my alopecia clients. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of color. Now is definitely the time to play around with colors and experience different styles because remember, you weren't able to do this with your own hair before. Maybe you have a permanent scarring situation where you know that you won't ever be able to experience this. So do your alopecia services and go all out. Get the colors you want. Play with the colors. Like, I love colors. I'm waiting for a client to bring me some blue or let me color some hair to be really, really unique and apply for the alopecia service. So anybody who feels brave, check your girl out, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, so what I'm doing now is just using a little bit of our Elite Mask It fibers in the color black to fill in the space between the track and her hair. This is also something you guys can do at home to help fill in those thinning areas, to kind of mask those areas so that you can have the confidence to go outside if you're wearing your own hair, or maybe you have some extensions and you just wanna feel a little more confident and fill in any areas that are just not showing um, enough hair. That was the word I had to figure out. <laughs> you guys know I'm always lost for words sometimes. All right, so I'm just basically combing through her hair, styling it up. But in the meantime, if you're new to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button right now. And also don't forget to thumbs up this video. And thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of Elite Hair Care USA. I hope you guys enjoyed this little transformation video. You guys never really get to see the whole process. So I'm starting to kind of show a little more behind the scenes and just so you guys can have a better understanding of what we do and how we do it. Also, if you want to learn more about taking better care of your hair or even business building and wealth building, please visit EliteHairCareUniversity.com. That is my academy where I teach business building, wealth building, and also hair care for those of you who don't really understand your hair or you want to learn more about caring better for your hair. Now, I wanted to give her a little more layering, so I went ahead and used my razor just to kind of cut some of that hair up, give it a little more texture, and then she is actually on her way out the door, you guys. And then what I did was I did put a little bit more Elite Mask it right at the part area just to kind of fill in that area so it blended really well with the extensions versus her hair, and that was really it. But as I said before and for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment down below what you thought about the finish. See you later.